This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Amrelly Waller. On today's Global, in the past few hours, Nancy Pelosi, the US House Speaker, has landed in Taiwan at the start of a hugely controversial visit. China, which claims Taiwan as its own, said the visit could have serious consequences for America. We are closely following the itinerary of Speaker Pelosi, and if the US continues down the wrong path, we will take strong and resolute measures. US and Chinese warships are in the region, heightening concerns of a military confrontation. Our other main story on today's programme, the leader of al-Qaeda is killed by a US drone strike in the Afghan capital. Ayman al-Zawahiri masterminded the 9-11 terror attacks with Osama bin Laden. And also in the programme, Tiger Woods turns down around $700 million to join the Saudi-funded Live Golf Series. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Nancy Pelosi, the third highest ranking US official and the US House Speaker, has arrived in Taiwan. In a statement released as she landed in Taipei, Pelosi said she wanted to honour America's unwavering commitment to Taiwan's vibrant democracy. She insisted the visit did not contradict long-standing US policy on Taiwan. China, which claims Taiwan as its own, swiftly denounced the visit, calling it extremely dangerous. Tensions are high. China flew warplanes close to the island ahead of her controversial trip. Four U.S. warships have also been deployed to the region. Well, here's what we know. Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, arrived in Taiwan at around 11 p.m. local time on Tuesday evening. She's the highest-ranking U.S. official to visit the island since 1997. Taiwan's presidential office says she will visit Taiwan's parliament and meet the Taiwanese president on Wednesday morning. It comes as Beijing vociferously warned against the visit, with China's defence ministry saying Beijing will launch targeted military operations in response to Pelosi's trip. Taiwan is a self-ruled island but claimed by China, which sees it as a breakaway province. Well, our correspondent Rupert Wingfield-Hayes is in Taiwan and has sent this report.